All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host for the most. So, all right, so you have re you have family members that have passed the point of what seems like no return, right? Or you're thinking a bit outside the box and planning just in case. So many want to know an immigrant that has been deported. Is there a way for this? immigrant to come back into the United States. So the, the, the question at hand is this, can you re-enter the USA after deportation by marrying a US citizen? All right. The answer is this, an immigrant that has been deported may have an option to get back into the United States by marriage to a US citizen. But if you don't listen to this entire video, then you're going to miss all the things that you need to know. And you may not need this information now, but I bet you know somebody that does, or I bet you know somebody that knows somebody that does, or maybe you might need it soon. All right, so here we go. This is how it works. Once an, immigrant, once an immigrant has been removed or deported from the United States, the immigration laws make it very difficult for that person to return. In most cases, the immigrant becomes what is called inadmissible, and they must spend several years outside of the United States before a return is legally allowed. I know you're enjoying this picture right now. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people are cracking up. Matter of fact, this picture right here is a 27-year-old that got married to a 72-year-old and got his legal status straight. Hey, I'm not knocking the, knocking the man's hustle. He did what he had to do. <laughs> right? Okay. This is true. So, again, in most cases, the immigrant becomes inadmissible. That is the status that is given to the immigrant once they are deported or outside from once they are sent out of the US. And they must spend several years outside of the United States before they can return legally. This is true even if the immigrant normally be granted an immigrant visa or green card, for example, through marriage to a US citizen. But there is some some hope in such a case. Here is how. The immigrant, which is the person who has been deported, may be able to apply for what is called a waiver of admissibility. A waiver of admissibility. Allowing early return and receipt of an immigrant visa or green card. So we're asking now, for how long will the deported immigrant be inadmissible? Because clearly inadmissible means you cannot come back, right? You will not be admitted back. And like we said before, normally they would have to spend several years out. Now the question is, how long do they have to spend out? Okay, after having been removed from the United States, the inadmissibility law sets varying amounts of time during which removed immigrant will be barred from re-entering the U.S. legally. Unfortunately, now I can't sugarcoat it and cut it any fancy ways for you. You need to know the truth. So, unfortunately, the legal terminology is quite technical. We'll give you a brief rundown here. But analyzing the law and applying it to your own situation will honestly require the help of a skilled attorney. Okay, for example, so people who were deported or removed from the US after say April 1st of 1997 and then illegally re-entered are barred from immigrating through a family member with no waiver available to that type of a person. Although you can request special permission to reapply after 10 years. This is the so-called permanent bar. Then you have people who were ordered removed 
based on them being deportable. You came, you stayed longer than you were supposed to, that kind of thing. Separate, a separate list with the immigration laws from the grounds of being inadmissible or who left the United States while an order of removal was outstanding. So you got this order of removal, you got a letter that said, hey, you need to leave the US or you will be deported, and you took yourself and you left. They are inadmissible for 10 years following their departure from the United States. People, now there's another one, People who were ordered, excluded, or deported before the 1996 passage of a law called the IIRIRA are inadmissible for 10 years following their departure. You can see that this gets very complicated, okay? And here's another one. People who were ordered removed because they were found to be inadmissible, most likely upon an attempt or attempt attempted re-entry to the United States are inadmissible for five years after their removal. And here's another one. People who were ordered removed after an earlier removal or who were convicted of an aggravated felony are inadmissible for 20 years following their departure. So they are even inadmissible longer than the people who have what's called a permanent bar. Because a permanent bar only means you're not allowed back in for 10 years. Of course, you have to apply for a waiver, but your, your inadmissible status is diminished at 10 years. Here's another one. People who without reasonable cause failed to attend their removal proceedings in immigration court are inadmissible for either five or ten years from their departure or removal depending on whether the judge issued an in absentia or off removal this you must see the immigration laws rules and regulations section 212a 6b to know what does apply. This is why I said it will require a the help from a skilled attorney. If a waiver is in of inadmissibility is a waiver of inadmissibility available. So, if you're married to a US citizen, then you are considered an immediate relative under the immigration laws that means that in theory, at least you are eligible for an immigrant visa or a green card. However, remember, you were here before, you got thrown out or you left, you have this bar on you, it's inadmissible. However, anyone can be denied a green card if found inadmissible. <laughs> are you following this? So, as part of your application for a green card, here's the trick you will need to apply for what is called a waiver of inadmissibility. Such a waiver is available in most of the situation. Such a waiver is available in most of the situations described previously. Even the ones that sounded as if they were doomed forever. Such a waiver is available in most of those situations but you will need to present convincing and sympathetic reasons why the waiver should be granted are you listening so far here's good advice consult a, consult a skilled immigration attorney if you've been removed or deported from the US and have any thoughts of returning consult with an immigration attorney first all hope is not lost I'm gonna say it again if you've been removed or deported from the United States and have any thoughts of returning all hope is not lost contact 
a skilled U.S. immigration attorney. One more time. If you've been removed or deported from the United States and you have any thoughts of returning, consult with a skilled United States immigration attorney first. In fact, look for... So you're saying, okay, so what kind of an attorney? Just any immigration attorney? No. Here is better advice. Look for an attorney with a subspecialty in re-entry after removal. All right. So I don't want you to hear, I don't want to hear that SoFlo TV said just grab an um, immigration attorney. I said grab a U.S. immigration attorney whose specialty or subspecialty is in re-entry after removal right who both understands the law and has succeeded with past waiver requests so you want to look up that attorney's background and make sure that they have cases they can t show you or you can verify that they've done this before and gotten people back into the country and believe me they are out there all right this is a tricky area of the law and you will need for someone who is knowledgeable and who has the experience. So don't just throw your money away at the first attorney who comes to you and says, hey, I can get you back into the US. Yes, you can get back into the US. We started out this video by asking the question, can you re-enter the U.S. after deportation by marrying a U.S. citizen? Now, I can see a bunch of people watching this video who have been thrown out of the U.S. and now they're looking for a U.S. citizen to marry because SoFlo TV has given them information that can uh, revitalize their ideas of returning. Listen, whatever works, okay? Can you re-enter the United States after deportation by marrying a U.S. citizen? Yes, you can. An immigrant that has been deported may have an option, may have an option to get back into the U.S. by marrying a U.S. citizen. If you missed the information how, rewind this video and listen all over again. That's what we're about, information. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I'm up out of here. Peace.